For more on the actions, let's cross live to our reporter Zhao Yunfei in Beijing. Uh, Yunfei, uh, give a sense of the atmosphere on the final day of the competitions. Yes, this is the final day of the competition, Pandang. So atmosphere is very well because we're expecting an exceptional uh, closing ceremony later tonight. So on the very last day of the Games Day, the head of the Beijing Organizing Committee, Cai Qi, briefed the media and he took a recap of what has been done in the past uh, a, f a few weeks. So uh, Cai Qi said that in the past, uh, in the game days, 109 uh, medals were, uh, uh, award, gold medals were actually awarded. And this is uh, the most items that actually in, in the Winter Olympics history. And uh, 2,000 plus athletes participated in the Olympic Games. Among them, 45% are women athletes. And uh, within, in the, comparing to the past, this is the most uh, amount of the percentage of women athletes. And also, this Winter Olympics is the most watched game, so it gains huge popularity among the audience international wise. Team China also performed really well in the Olympic Games. It broke its record in medals. Uh, uh, in terms of the number of medals and it broke the record when uh, the as the Chinese team performed in the Vancouver Games. Uh, also, this Olympic is very special given that the COVID-19 situation, for example, every single person within the closed loop uh, has to take a PCR test once a day. How many tests have already taken? 1.8 million PCR tests have been taken. So all the positive cases, Tsai Chi said, has been well taken care of and cured in the hospital or in the isolation hotels. So uh, you mentioned about the atmosphere. This Olympic Games is actually uh, taking place under a spring festival holiday. So uh, for a lot of Chinese audience, it's really a double joy for them to enjoy celebrating the festival as well as uh, watching the Olympic Games. And also, the Winter Games has boosted the uh, winter sports industry here in China. So a lot of people do expect that this is the beginning of the winter sports industry since the end of the Olympics. At the same time, Tsai Chi also extended his best wishes to Milan, which is the host city of 2026 Olympic Games. Pando. Thank you very much. Our reporter Zhao Yunfei in Beijing.